Oh, I just put my hand in a really wet poo. Ah. Hey guys, today I am back again with another hamster mail unboxing with a slight twist. Not only do we have your recommended dose of zinc joining us today, but we will be opening not one, but two hamster mailboxes. We have both the September mailbox to open and the October mailbox, not because they arrived to me late or anything, simply because when I got them, I put them on a shelf and then totally forgot about them. Once again, I am a moron. We are all aware of this. I'm fairly certain this is the September box, so we're gonna start with this. Let's open it on up and see what we got in September. Beautiful yellow paper, as always. Ooh, okay, we've got some interesting things in here. Oh, oh, I have seen something that I can now take out of my Viovet basket. Before we get any further into this unboxing, I just want to mention Hamster Mail's charity of the month for September, which was the Westchester Rescued Hamster Haven, which is based in New York in the United States. This rescue was set up over a decade ago and focuses exclusively on the rescuing and rehoming of hamsters. The rehoming of their hamsters is done with real care, with hamster playdates set up prior to adoption, to ensure that each hamster is going to a well-informed home that suits their unique personality. If you want to find out more about Westchester Rescued Hamster Haven, I will put all of their information in the description box down below. You can head on over there, check them out, support their cause, and maybe even adopt from them. So this is the card that comes with the box and gives you a little description of everything that's in it. And one of the things they note right at the beginning is one of the items in this box is not yet available worldwide. The Rosewood Fun and Forage Coconut Fiber Stacker was only released by Rosewood a couple of months ago, so it's a pretty exclusive product. So this is the item in question. All it says on the card is find out more about this toy's origin from its tag. So we're gonna have a read of that, find out a little bit about it. Forage and Fun toys are handmade using natural, renewable, and recyclable materials such as palm leaf and abaca. We don't use glues or plastics and all materials are 100% pet safe. This product was handmade using earth-friendly materials by villagers in the Philippines who rely on their handicraft skills to survive. So all in all, this is a pretty fantastic product and amazingly, I had to check for this because the last time I got a product that advertised itself as being, you know, 100% eco-friendly and all that, it actually had zip ties holding it together, plastic zip ties, which I thought was kind of funny, but this one uh, I've looked over and clearly just has all recyclable materials, so they can, rightly so, make that claim. This is the item that I'm now going to be taking out of my Viovet cart, because I had this in for Iodine, who loves these things. These are the Rosewood Boredom Breaker Woody's Nibble Sticks, fruit flavoured wood gnaws, natural softwood with vegetable based dyes. Looking at them, they are slightly different from the last ones I bought. They're slightly cleaner, the finish is slightly smoother. The other ones I had had a more sort of raw, textured finish to them, and Iodine went crazy for those. I've never had a hand to go quite so crazy for these chews before so uh, I'm definitely gonna be giving these back to her and these are in the shape of a bunch of grapes a banana an orange and an apple moving on to the next item which I'm very happy to see is wrapped up in bubble wrap because we had a similar treat to this before and unfortunately it did get a little damaged in delivery but it's good to see that they've made that change these are the rosewood natural strawberry sticks they are made from cereals seeds nuts egg and egg product and strawberries I'm gonna let Zinc have a little nibble on one of these, see what he thinks, if he thinks anything at all. No? Not a worry though because I know my hamsters will go crazy for them. The next item is not one that I'm familiar with, it is the Healthy Hopper Mixed Corn Flowers and contains just red, blue and pink corn flowers. That is it. And if I turn it over you can see just how colorful this is. The blue especially really stands out. Oh, they smell so nice. It smells beautiful. Here, have a taste. Yeah, you can smell it too, can't you? <laughs> he was really, really having a good sniff at that. I don't think he's that hungry right now. He's got a few snacks sprinkled around and I think he might have filled up on those. So that was the September box. I'm really happy with that. It's a lovely arrangement of products. Now we're gonna move on to the October box. Da, 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 da. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, I've seen something you all know I'm gonna go crazy for. <laughs> Once again, let's begin with the charity of the month, and for the October box, it was Great Canadian Hamsters, which is a Toronto-based rescue that was launched only in September of this year, so it is a new rescue. They currently have 17 hamsters in their care and focus particularly on hamsters with special needs. Some of the hamsters will receive continued care from the rescue, however, they do also find happy forever homes for the hamsters who are in full health and don't require special medical attention and once again if you want to know more about this rescue support them maybe even adopt from them i will put all of their information in the description box down below this time around let's start with the treats instead of the toys and the first item is one that i actually received in the early bird box so i now have two packets of these and my animals are going through them quite happily these are the rosewood simply nibbles garden herb and apple cushions and i will pop all of the ingredients up on the screen now because it's a long list one thing that i particularly love about these treats is just that they come in a resealable package so i don't have to repackage them into an airtight jar or anything i can just keep them in the original packaging and uh, know that they will stay fresh. Can I can I take that piece back? Because I broke you off a small piece. The one you've got is a little bit big. That's it, you take that, I'll swap you. Here you go, take this one. No, now you don't want anything. I want the big piece or nothing. The next treat is the Healthy Hopper Halloween Platter, which contains dried pumpkin, pumpkin seeds, and sunflower seeds. What a lovely little mix-up. Now with these treats, unfortunately, you can't reseal them, so I do package these back up into Ziploc bags, but the bowls that they come in can be reused, which is pretty cool. They're made of uh, like a really thin wood, so I kept the one from my last platter that I had, and I'll definitely keep this one too. Moving on to the toys, the next item has managed to detach itself from its packaging. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of hold it awkwardly there. These are the Rosewood Boredom Breaker Wacky Rollers and I'm assuming these are made out of corn or corn leaf or something along those lines. But as always, Rosewood has not put the exact ingredients on their packaging. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna go and look into these because this whatever's on the inside, I'm, it kind of looks like it might be a soft plastic, which I wouldn't want to give that to any of my rodents. So I ended up just taking one of the balls apart to see what was inside and disappointingly it was indeed a very soft plastic ball. And the issue with this is that Rosewood are advertising these as chew toys for rabbits and rodents. Animals that will have no problem chewing apart such a soft material and likely ingesting it too, which given that it's plastic could lead to some very serious health problems. By the way, I'm not ragging on hamster mail here because honestly at face value these toys do look perfect safe and Rosewood is normally a very trustworthy company. Rosewood absolutely should not be advertising this as a chew toy or selling it towards small animals. Seriously Rosewood, there is no excuse for this. Anyway, moving on to the final product in this unboxing, the final product in this video. It's my all-time favorite, my one true love. We all know it. It's a bendy bridge. This bendy bridge, also called Playsticks, is by the brand Nature First, and it just, it does just look like a standard bendy bridge, um, but I'm still thrilled about that. You can never, ever, 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 ever have enough bendy bridges. I'm so glad to have another one in my collection. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so this is a random but cool, thoughtful extra thing that Hamster Mail has included. I was just emptying the products out of the box and I found this little resealable bag, which is obviously for putting the platter into because you can't reseal this. They've just given you a bag so you can store it nice and easy. That is, that, I, I appreciate little things like that. Look at that, it's the exact perfect size for fitting the contents of the platter in. I love that. So here's one final look at everything I got in the September and October hamster mailboxes. And this is actually gonna be my penultimate hamster mail unboxing because, uh, my mouse is up on my shoulders. <laughs> November's box is the last one I'm gonna be getting for a while. Not because I have any issues with the company at all. It's just, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break for a while, try out some other companies. Um, I've, been, <laughs> I've been using hamster mail now for the last six months and I've really, really enjoyed it. But yeah, like I say, I want to try out a couple of other companies in the new year. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this unboxing, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to see some more of Zinc and some more of the hamsters as well, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.